right, so today I've got the waiter's tray puzzle by Constantine Puzzles. Um, it was invented by Jean-Claude Constantine. And it says it's five stars for good difficulty. I guess we shall see. Um, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find this puzzle online yourself. And I'm gonna give it a shot now and hopefully spoilers will follow. So here we go. This is the waiter's tray by Constantine Puzzles. Try not to get you guys too much reflections from the light here. Um, on the back, it says the waiter's tray. The aim is to remove the wooden tray from under the row of bottles. Bottles may need to be moved more than once and are sometimes locked till you move the balls holding them in place. Can you find the solution? Okay, so here we go. I uh, got it all unpackaged and turned off the overhead light so we don't have so many problems with reflections. We're gonna start the timer now and here we go. So ultimately we have to get this, this piece out here. It looks like that one will slide. Okay, so, oh, oh, okay. So I can see the, the bottles, well, these won't slide because the tray is here. Um, the bottles slide up and down on these little pegs. Um, there's also these balls in here that um, you can't really tell at first, but if you look closely, there's, so there's a path here where the ball can go across between there. But the ball can also go up through there. You can kind of see right about in there that it ends. It's sort of an L-shaped groove. Now is it just L? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't go up and down on the second bottle, only on the first bottle it goes up. So it can kind of do an L-shaped thing like that, which then lets this one move. And so then we can do the same thing here. And then, and then what do we do? Come back, yeah, come back here. Oh, now this one will go up higher, right. So we can do that, cool. Now this one will come down, go up, and then, and then what do we do? This one can go up now, but we need, the, we need it to come down. It looks like you have to get each bottle to go up, you've got to get the ball over to the previous bottle. But in order to get the ball to the previous bottle, the previous bottle has to be down. And so, but in order to get this one up, this ball has to be back over here. Just like, so the, the ball from the first bottle is over here in order for this one to go all the way up. Go back to there and then, man, I thought I was onto something there, but it doesn't keep going because you get stuck here. So you can do that. Now this one can't go up or down when it has two balls in there. Same with this one. This one, okay, so when it has a ball on the right, it can go down, but not up. When it has a ball on the left, oh, maybe, what if, what if we, yeah, there we go. There we go. What about that? Look at that. Okay. Okay. Now, now I'm, now I'm getting somewhere. I think I see how this works. Maybe. Yep. Oh man. You got to keep going all the way back to the start with every move. There we go. Okay. So in order to get the ball out of the one bottle to the previous bottle, here, let's turn off. I'm going to turn off autofocus. Let's see, so in order to get the ball out of the bottle into the previous bottle, like this, you have to have the, the previous one down. But in order to get that one down, all the ball, yeah, it's a whole series of moves, because you get that one up, but now we gotta move this ball back over again, because see all these are moved to the right, and these are moved to the left. And so, we have to go all the way back down here, and, do these moves again. Every single time you gotta go back to the first bottle and start over. Oh, this is, this is wild. Cause it always has to start with this first one. Yep, there we go. And now we get the ball over. Cause see, we're trying to move the ball over to the right for all of them. So the final one needs to have the ball in the, the thing over here. 
Now I gotta go, we're, we're so close, look at that. All but one. So I gotta go back over here, do the whole, the whole thing again, the whole process. Move all the balls to the left, and then back to the right, and then back over here again. These two balls need to be over here. Is this the one I'm supposed to be moving? So, no. I feel like I'm just stuck in a loop here of doing the same things over and over again. Okay, maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, I've got, oh, I've got all but one moved over now. Oh, so I got one more moved over. Okay, so I just gotta do the whole thing again. Up, back, over, down. It's weird because you kind of have to move one to the left in order to then move one back to the right, it seems like. Oh no, now what do I do? No, I'm back to where I was. Uh. <laughs> oh no. It's so close, I can't why can't I get the last the last little bit? Oh, wait, we need, oh, but we need. This one's gotta come over here. Which means... Yeah, cause I need to get this one down. I feel like I'm just going in circles here. Okay, so they're all up here now, but I want them all to be here, right? Yeah, I want them all to be over there, but I can't. They need to have the ball down here, don't they? There we go, the ball needs to be there, but this one needs to be down there also. Oh no. All right. I think I'm just going in circles. <sighs> I feel like I should have this done already. I mean, it is a five star difficulty supposedly, but Probably already almost had it and then just made one wrong move somewhere. Now, do I want that on the top or the bottom? So this can move farther to let that one out. Yeah. Okay. That goes in here, that one goes in there. This one goes over there. to be the top one, right? There we go, bottom one. There we go. Now this one. Do we go this way? Do we pull it out the other way? Would be interesting, wouldn't it? I was assuming we were trying to go this direction, but maybe it pulls out this way. Is that possible? Oh, hold on. Actually, if we do that, oh, look at this. Now. but it won't go, it's wider than the bottles here, so we can't get it far enough to drop this bottle down. Maybe 
Maybe it pulls out this way though. Maybe that's possible. Let's see. Is this where we started? I don't think it's quite where we started, but it feels close. No, we don't want it to be there, we want it to be there, so that one's on the top. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, and then this one over there. There we go, because this is where we want them to be in this position on every single one of them. Yep, and now that one. Okay, I think I got it now. I think I got it now. Look at that. Voila, the tray has been removed. <sighs> Stop our timer. Okay, just over 20 minutes. That's not too bad, I'll take that. Better get a little drink. I feel like I kinda, I got stuck there for a while, but I kinda had the basic idea figured out right at the beginning. And the way you have to kind of, you know, always come back to the first one to make room for the next. You know, if you wanna move one of these over here, up or down a little bit, you have to start over here and do a whole series of moves. Putting it back together is gonna be interesting. I just have to reverse the process, I suppose, but. Anyways, there you go. The waiter's tray has been removed. All right, so that was the waiter's tray puzzle. Uh, definitely interesting. I don't know if it was quite five stars. It was certainly not easy, but it felt more like just, you had to kind of do a series of moves over and over again. So some of the difficulty was just in the tediousness of it. Uh, there was no real trick you had to figure out or anything. So it was hard, but I don't know if I'd call it five stars. So anyways, there you go. If you've done this puzzle, let me know what you thought of it. And if you want to get this puzzle for yourself, check out the description for a link to where you can find that. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles.